Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to share an app with you guys that was recently brought to my attention. This is an app that is open source. It's in GitHub and it's brought to you by DIUX. If you're not familiar with DIUX, definitely check them out. I'll put a link to them below. I've been exchanging email messages with them over the past year and just recently they've pushed out an app called Rosetta Drone. Now, Rosetta Drone currently is only available for Android, and what Rosetta Drone enables is the ability to communicate with a ground station, whether you're running Q Ground Control, Mission Planner, or any other Mavlink-based ground control station. And Rosetta Drone is basically a proxy. It runs on your tablet, it will connect to your remote and enable Mavlink communication between a ground station and DJI hardware. Not all of the capabilities of the SDK are currently supported. I hope to get more involved and help enable some of those. But I want to demonstrate just a high level overview of what Rosetta Drone does. Let me start by just connecting my Phantom 3 Pro remote. Now Rosetta Drone does support other aircraft. I've done testing with Mavic Pro but with Mavic Pro enabled in my garage, it really kills my Wi-Fi, so it makes it hard to uh, do any testing. I've connected my remote. I'm going to enable Rosetta Drone to have access to USB. We can see all sorts of logging here. Stabilize flight mode. And you may have just heard Q ground control. So there's a lot of DJI specific parameters here. I want to go in and just demonstrate how to establish the connection between Rosetta Drone and your ground control station. You'll notice there's use GCS on an external device. You can actually run Q ground control on your tablet. So you can have all of that done locally. Just for demonstration purposes, I've set this to go to an external device, which I've put on my internal network right here, 10.0.1.27. And then I also have video enabled to send to the ground station. That's one really cool thing about Rosetta Drone is that you can send video to your ground st station, specify the IP address, the telemetry port 14550 and video port you leave as default. Now one disclaimer, the video currently only works for Mavic. That's one of the reasons the DIUX guys reached out asking if I could help uh, support other aircraft. The video uh, encoding is messed up and I haven't been able to dive into that but I hope to be able to soon. So that's your settings. Those are enabled. Now let's take a look at the ground station. Immediately when you have Rosetta Drone configured, it will start sending UDP packets to your ground station. Now this is Q ground control and it's currently connected. You could see battery status, the 63% stabilized mode, disarmed number of satellites. So all of that is being sent from the Phantom 3 with Rosetta Drone over to the ground station uh, using Mavlink. So I'm going to scroll down on our settings screen here and we'll just take a look at the video source. Originally we configured Rosetta Drone to send video. It will send over UDP, uh, UDP port 5600, and then that will be immediately saved. I'll go over to our map view and see video coming through. Now once again, this is garbled. If I were running the Mavic Pro, that would come through clear. So hopefully that's something uh, we as a community can resolve. Let me demonstrate quickly some telemetry data. You can see our aircraft position, our compass, our attitude. And as I move these around, you can see that the map is updating in real time. This is sending Mavlink messages to the ground station using Rosetta Drone. That demonstrates how this attitude data from the Phantom using DJI SDK with Rosetta Drone over to the ground station. Now I'll demonstrate communication the other direction from the ground station to Rosetta Drone using the SDK back to the aircraft. And to do that, let me just disable the safety on Rosetta Drone, this button right here. So you can see it says ready to fly. Then in Q ground control, I'll just click on this takeoff button. The bottom will ask me to slide to confirm. We're able to communicate from the ground station to the Phantom 3. In addition to that communication happening, you can see that here we have some logging, initiating takeoff, takeoff successful. 
one of the demonstration from the ground station to Phantom 3. I'm going to select camera here, keep an eye on the green camera LED. Then I will click the trigger camera button, so I'm clicking it now. And you can see that the photo is taken. I'll do it one more time. And within Rosetta Drone, we can see logging. We took two photos. Now I'll demonstrate quickly some of the uh, flight planning functionality. To do this, I don't actually want to go outside. It's windy. It's sometimes difficult to demonstrate this filming and working a ground station and a remote. So I'm going to connect this USB cable to my PC running the ground station. And I'll launch the DJI simulator. This is an old simulator for older aircraft. Phantom 3, and I'm going to click Start Simulation. And what that will enable us to do is simulate the flight controller and issue commands to it. For example, if I were to arm it, I can take off and land, and you can actually hear the ground station disarmed. say that it's disarmed. Uh, let me just bring Q ground control back to the foreground. You can specify a home location. I think by default we're somewhere near Shenzhen, China. I'm just going to leave that as is. What we'll do now is in Q ground control, I'll go over to the plan view. Let me just switch to the vehicle's current location. And I'm going to add a couple of waypoints. Click here. First we'll have a takeoff. Waypoint number one, two, three, and then I'll click just one, this number four out here, but I'm going to change it to a return home. See the map? After three, it'll return us to the home location. Now that that basic mission is planned, I'm going to click this Upload Required button. You can see it says Done, and Rosetta Drone receives the waypoint mission, the coordinates, the mission's uploaded, now it's ready to execute. Okay, let me go back to the fly view, see our mission here. Then at the bottom, see a start mission, take off from ground station. I will slide across to confirm that we want to execute that mission. We can see that if you look over here on the right, our altitude is rising. I actually have no idea why it's going over here. <laughs> Let's just watch it for a second. Maybe it was something with uh, the way that these waypoints were interpreted. Maybe there's a bit of an offset. I am in China. Obviously that, that might be a bug that needs to be fixed. Okay, we can see it turning. It does look like it's going to uh, waypoint number two now. So I can't explain this behavior of ending up over here, but I'll definitely look into that. And you can see that we're flying right along the uh, flight path. If I go over to my simulator, See the Phantom here is flying in space, but uh, that's what we need to do to be able to simulate and test this while on the bench. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click this RTH or this RTL in the world of Mavlink. We're gonna to return to launch. Return to launch flight mode. You can hear the physical hardware, the beeping from the Phantom 3. Our aircraft on the map, returning to home. Land flight mode. You can see that it's switched into land flight mode. Our altitude is descending. So that's really cool stuff to be able to leverage something like Q ground control to work with uh, DJI hardware. Now, I've also done some testing with Mission Planner. Any Mavlink based ground station should theoretically work. Definitely be doing some more testing and I'll share some videos on that in the near future. Go back one more time to the simulator and we're back on the ground. See we're disarmed in stabilized flight mode. I've hooked up the Mavic Pro real quick just so you guys can see the video feed. Pretty awesome. It is a little bit choppy. My network here in the garage is, is horrible and you can see there it just went out. And what I demonstrated with the Phantom 3 is definitely applicable to the Mavic Pro. I'll do some field tests soon. I hope you guys continue to follow along. This is really cool stuff and want to get more involved, learn more about Mavlink and contribute where I can. Once again, this is Rosetta Drone version 0.5. Put a link to DIUX and the GitHub repository below. 
check it out. If you're an Android dev, please consider contributing. This is cutting edge stuff in my mind. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.